Vampire Diaries and Touch DNA. <laughs> just, just trust me. Hey guys, this is Jules with True Crime Reactions. Disclaimer. Everything stated in this video is my opinion and my opinion only. And just like everything else in these cases we discuss here on this channel, everything is alleged. Okay, so I was scrolling through Twitter like two weeks ago. I recorded what I'm going to show you guys here probably like two to three weeks ago. And this is the picture that showed up right as my daughter walked up to my desk. And her reaction was, oh my God, are those dog bites? And it was just insane because that's the fight, right? This is John O'Keefe's arm. For those of you who do not know and are not following the Karen Reed, John O'Keefe case. Now, I am very much following it over on Twitter. I'm not really watching anything about it here on YouTube. I'm getting bites and pieces over on Twitter. There's a lot. Red Solo cups and leaf blowers, bro. Like, insane. But that's the argument about this photo. Is whether it's from a German shepherd attacking John or her vehicle, Karen Reed's vehicle. That's the argument, right? Naturally... Because a lot of you guys know that my daughter has her own theories when it comes to the Idaho case. And a lot of times I talk to her about these kinds of cases. Before she decided to get into the medical field, she wanted to be an FBI agent. So she's been interested in this kind of stuff. So I gave her a quick little rundown of that case. And then it just transitioned into the Idaho case. And then we started talking about touch DNA. And I decided to give her like a little scenario. And then I decided to record it. <laughs> But before I show you guys that, I want to introduce you guys to the channel's first sponsor, Aura. How many of you have had your information stolen from you? Sold to the highest bidder. What is something that I say on this channel quite a bit, especially here lately? Everything about you is worth money. The way that you eat, the kind of color that you like to keep your hair, the type of music that you listen to, the type of things that you browse online, the type of service providers that you have, everything about you is worth money just not to you. A few months ago, whenever I was reporting on this data breach where over 73 million current and former customers of AT&T had their information leaked to the dark web, I had no idea that I was one of those very unfortunate former customers. AT&T didn't tell me, and the other service that I used that's supposed to alert me to things like this didn't tell me either. I didn't know until Aura. I really, really like using Aura, not only because they were the first to alert me of this data breach, but because they also tell me who else is out there selling my information and help me fight to get it away from their clutches to keep it as private as possible. Not only did this help my information stay where it belongs, but it also reduces the amount of spam content that I get, whether it be phone calls or emails. Now, because it wasn't just personal information, but also passwords and pass codes that got leaked in this horrible data breach, Aura also helps you maintain your passwords, keep track of your credit history to make sure that there's nothing fraudulent going on, which of course are some of the most important steps that you can take in order to protect your information. Aura is quick, user-friendly, and does a lot for me, so it helps me not stress so much. And you guys know how busy my life is. One less thing for me to worry about it's totally worth the time to look into. Now, because this has been such a big help to me, of course, I wanted to offer it to you, my beautiful viewers out there. So if you click the link below in my description box, you can get a two week free trial of Aura and it will tell you where your information is and help you start your process of clearing it all up to protecting your privacy. Not just that, but one thing that I found really, really awesome is that the person who created Aura was a victim of this type of thing himself. What happened to me in 2014 shouldn't happen to anybody. That's why we built Aura. Kind of makes me feel more confident in the service, especially since I've already seen it in action. So again, the link to get a two week free trial is down in my description box or go to aura.com slash jewels. That's A-U-R-A dot com slash J-U-L-E-Z. Thank you so much, Aura, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. Okay, here we go. I want you to imagine this scenario okay you ready you're gonna listen <laughs> okay before you bought those things you were picking up other things right like what other stuff did you look at the purple lip gloss <laughs> <laughs> and what else um the black blush that turns pink and uh -huh. the eyeliner okay and so you look you had like held it in your hand turned it around looked yeah. at it was like oh this is so freaking cool okay right <laughs> <laughs> right right right, yeah. right. okay <laughs> but then you put it back uh -huh. mm -hmm. so 
say, just say for instance, we're going to make this realistic. Okay. Say this guy's girlfriend's birthday was coming up. Okay. She was so freaking into Damon. Damon was her dude. Okay. Just like you super obsessed. Damon is her man. Okay. I told you I was going to make this for you. <laughs> Guys, for Christmas, I got her a blanket and it's all David faces. Okay, wait till the next one. Okay, I already know what it's going to be. Okay. So say he went into CVS like 15 minutes after we left. So while we were walking around Kroger looking for woohoos, all right, this man is all up in the CVS looking at the freaking Vampire Diary makeup. He done called like you and was asking when it was coming in because he just knew that was going to that was gonna be the best birthday present ever. He was going to win out of everybody. He knew it if he got her the whole collection. He gets her roses. He gets a bottle of wine. He gets all her favorite candies. He does this whole thing, okay? He goes to bring it to her house. He goes to knock on her door. <laughs> Please don't. This is sad. <laughs> God, I'm sad. What do you want me to say? I can't make this up. Why is she going to be dead before her birthday? Oh my God. It is her birthday. Oh my God. Stop. <laughs> You're crying. It's not that serious. Guys, she's got like a, a, a thingy on her head. Like a shower curtain thingy. What it's a not? bonnet. I said shower curtain. It's a bonnet. What she said. So she's in like her night clothes. She was just looking ridiculous. Anyway. God, um, you're literally <laughs> crying. Oh okay, yeah, okay, okay. Anyway. So he gets there to his girlfriend's house on her birthday with this basket. It's got that black, what was it? Blush that turns pink. He walks in and the, there's candles lit in the living room. And he thought that she was going to be ready to go to dinner by the time he got there because it sounded like she'd been ready for a while and was waiting on him because she kept asking him how long until he got there. But she didn't look like she was put together. Her hair was kind of messy and she looked like she just put that dress on. Something didn't feel right. She's going through the thing and she's telling him, oh, I love this. Oh, I'm going to go put this on. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to try this blush on real quick. I'm going to wear it tonight. He says, okay, baby, go do that. No, wait. Uh oh, wait. But she's taking a while, bro. Like some time. Right, some time is going by. And he starts hearing like some 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 feet moving around upstairs. So he thinks maybe she's coming downstairs finally. He's like, okay, finally we're going to dinner, man. I'm hungry, let's go. <laughs> he goes upstairs because she's taking a minute after hearing all that. Walks in. There's some man in his boxers just standing there. And she's there trying to put her dress back on. Because they must have heard him coming. Okay. Homeboy is stripped. Homeboy does some stupid stuff. Okay. Homeboy leaves two bodies and takes off. And nobody sees anything. It's dark, really. Nobody's seeing anything that's going on in that neighborhood. Nobody hears anything. Nobody knows anything. Okay. Shouldn't have plans to go out. She wasn't trying to go meet up with her friends nowhere. Okay. So instantly, it wasn't really a big deal. Okay. Now, even the next day, people not really hearing from her really wasn't too much of a big deal because she was grown and it was her birthday the day before. And so people just probably thought that she was probably still just with her man and they drank a little bit too much and they were sleeping in. It just was no big deal. It was her birthday weekend. Let her do what she was doing. Okay. But come Monday, she didn't show up to work. So her boss calls the police after calling her phone several times and then getting a call from her sister asking if she was at work that day because she never got a call back from her after she was trying to wish her a happy birthday. And that's not normal. A day or so, maybe. But three days, no. They send the cops over. And they tap on the door. And they see that it looks like there's a little bit of a curtain open. And since it's been some days now, they have to kind of like make sure there's not anything going on. So they're looking through windows and stuff and they see this curtain thing open. And he sees what looks like to be a hand kind of just laying on the floor right past the doorway into a hallway. So at the very least, somebody is on the ground. Like someone is at least laying on the ground and their arm is extended out and just their hand is visible from the window. That's enough for the cops to get in the house. So they break in the door. They notice they get closer. There's blood everywhere. Okay, they find the bodies. Okay. There's a dude upstairs in the closet. Gunshot wounds. She must have ran at some point because there's some blood down the hall that led into the living room area where her arm was that way up the thing, right? All the evidence that was 
had anything on it at all was collected. And what happened to have a little bit of blood on it was some makeup that was found upstairs that seemed to have come from this gift basket. Now, of course, at first, whenever you walk into this, you would assume it come from the guy that was found there, right? Like that's the birthday present he brought for his chick. That's her house. That's what you would normally think, okay? So they don't know that they're looking for another person at this point. They go and put this stuff through all kind of different processes at these labs. There's a million different processes. Well, not a million. That's a freaking But there's all these processes, all these different liquids, all these different tests. They do multiple swabs. They try to get particles off. They do deep down like microscopic scraping of things to try to get anything that they can when it comes to collecting evidence in a crime. They will go deep down, like microscopic, for real, for real, okay? And some of this evidence and some of this stuff that they did all this testing for in these labs, they did find a single female DNA strand on a Vampire Diaries black blush. <gasps> I didn't do it. I missed it. <laughs> I didn't do it. I'm That's sorry. the only foreign DNA at the entire scene. Where's his? Magically nowhere. No, he touched it too. I didn't do it. Somehow or another, his DNA didn't stick to it. But something about the way you handled the object in the store 15 minutes before his hand did made your DNA stick. That's reality. I know that it was like super, super ridiculous. But I wanted to give her an example she was going to remember. I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm innocent. So such, it is such like an off chance. It really is like an off chance. But it's scary. Because it has happened. So it's good for you to know these kinds of things. So if you have to make it stupid and theatrical to freaking be branded into your head, that's what we're going to do. So that's it. And I wanted to just record it because I was like, let me just make this personal. And she's very just insanely dramatically ridiculous. <laughs> so I knew that I could make this insanely dramatically ridiculous and make it something that she was going to remember. So yeah, scary, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But that's it. It is actually almost one o'clock in the morning. Our bedtime was supposed to be midnight. Yeah. And then we decided just to film this stuff and it just got dramatically funny. This was fun. But yeah. Let me know if you guys learned something. Did you learn something? Yes. Yeah. So everybody, bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. See y'all. Thanks for watching, you guys. It was fun. As you can tell, that was fun for me and her to discuss. It probably shouldn't be as ridiculously funny as it was, but it was just a spur of the moment little thing. And it was fun for something for me to do with my kid. So yeah, touch DNA. Be careful what you touch at the store because you just never know if it's going to show up at a crime scene. But yeah, again, thank you, Aura, for sponsoring this video. But that is it, you guys. If you like the way that I present this information and give my crazy opinion, please don't forget to leave a like on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already. See y'all.